Hi everyone, how you doing? Today we're going to be looking at these Acasa products. They are USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C devices, which means, first of all, you need to have a connection on your motherboard what supports it. So it looks a little bit different than your standard USB 3 and USB 2 header. So it's USB 3.1 Gen 2 or possibly Gen 1, but it basically looks a little bit different and you'll see the picture up above here. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, but the basics is one of them adds uh, USB ports onto the front of your computer, so it'll be really high speed ones into a five and a quarter inch bay, which is the same sort of bay you'd use for an optical disk drive. And the other one works on a three and a half inch bay, but instead of USB ports, it does have a USB port, but it's mainly a card reader. So you'd be able to plug in SD cards and stuff like that directly into your machine into a high speed port. Okay, so let's have a look at both of these products. So first of all, the price, the card reader, which is this one here, has a recommended retail price of 27 pounds. Uh, the USB 3.1 port has a retail price of 25.75. That's 25 pounds and 75 pence. Uh, obviously that may differ around the world, but links are in the description. So feel free to click on them and see what sort of prices they are. So let's have a quick look at the boxes. USB one first. So it says Interconnect GX, that's the model name, and it's USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C uh, panel and USB ports. So basically it adds on USB 2 ports, two of them, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, as well as a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port uh, on there. You can see there it says USB 3.1, Super Speed Plus, uh, Ultra Compact, Fast Charging, 10 gigabits per second. Uh, you've got USB 3.1 Gen 1, Type-C plug double-sided, Type-C charge and sync, and then you've got standard USB 2 ports on there as well. It's got a barcode on there. It says it's brushed aluminium facial, so that bit's brushed aluminium. Uh, the side, you've got different languages. Same on this side, different languages. On the back, it shows you the connector you need on the motherboard to plug it in. So as I said, it's USB 3.1 Gen 2 internal connector you need. It tells you everything on there it comes with, which is basically what I've already told you. Uh, on the card reader itself, Similar again, you've got USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C panel with multi-card reader on there. So SDHC, SDXC, uh, UHS-2, um, compatible, but you can see the card reader there. You can see the USB port and um, a Type-C port there. So there's USB 3.1 super speed, 10 gigabits per second, reversible Type-C, SD 4.0 uh, support, and five memory card slots on there. It says it supports CF cards, SD cards, MS cards, M2 dot cards, and micro SD cards. Again, let's have a look at the sides. It tells you about versions of Windows it works on, anything XP above. Anyone who's really got a motherboard with USB 3.1 Gen 2 and running on Windows XP or Vista or even 7, um, I'd be a little bit worried in all honesty, but still it says it supports it. Uh, you've got a barcode there and on the back it tells you roughly what you need to do. It doesn't show you the um, header it needs to plug in on the back of here. Uh, oh, it does in the little picture there, not as big as it does on the other box, but it says there it's two times faster than standard USB 3.1 Gen 1, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it gives you a rough idea. So let's have a look what's inside the boxes. Okay, so this is what you've got inside the boxes. Let's start off with the USB ports. So you've got four screws to screw it into your case, so that's handy. And it also comes with instruction manual that tells you what all the parts uh, ports are and what the cables are and it even shows you how to fit it in your case and basically where to plug them and what the ports look like, what you plug it into. So that's quite handy. And the card reader is pretty much the same. You've got the screws there, four of them to screw it into the case and you've got the manual as well. Bear in mind, remember the card reader is for a three and a half inch bay where the USB port is for a five and a quarter inch bay so that's where you put optical discs and stuff like that like DVD CD drives 
and this goes in the card reader slot on the front of a PC which is generally a bit smaller in most cases it's just under where um, you would plug your DVD drives into and so forth but not all cases have them um, and again in here shows you the instructions tells you what all the different slots do um, and which ones are what and it shows you the two cables where to plug them in onto your motherboard basically and how it slots in the case and you screw it in so again pretty straightforward there let's take a look at the USB hub first so you can see the two USB 2 panels there the USB 3.1 Gen 1s and then the USB 3.1 Gen 2 connection the Gen 2 one is a USB C type a connector so that's the one that you can plug in either way uh, you can find those generally on a lot of laptops these days a lot of mobile phones even uh, and other devices like tablets and so forth um, so other than that there's not much to see on there it's a brushed aluminium finish so it's nice it's nice shiny it's got a little bit of texture to it um, you've also got the sticker on there as well what tells you exactly what it is Gives you the full model number and everything there. Uh, on the bottom, there's nothing. On the sides, you've got those different screw holes. Depending on the way your case lines up, you'd use the different screws. And the same again on the other side. Not different screws, but the different holes depending on how it lines up. And then you've got three cables in there. You've got USB 3.0. You've got USB 3.1 Gen 2 header as well as the connector for standard USB 2. All the cables are black. Unfortunately, one of my pet peeves is this multicolored connection you've got on the USB there. If you've got a nice color-coded case, you've got a side window on it, you've got this multicolored, it looks like sachet packets or coffee packets or whatever. Um, you want to call it rainbow effect um, when you're plugging it into the board. Some manufacturers cover these up, some don't. So that's one thing I would like to see fixed. But otherwise, looks pretty good. Nice black cables, flat cable for the USB Type-C. The other ones are round type cables. Card reader, pretty much similar. Um, it's not brushed aluminium on the front. It looks like it's just plastic. Or if it is aluminium, it looks like it looks like a plastic. That one does. And then you've got all your different ports. It does tell you on there which each port does. Not easiest to read, in all honesty, which ports are what. Um, which the writing have probably been a little bit whiter, a bit like it is on the USB hub where you can actually read the writing a little bit better uh, can be hard to see in dark places or if you've got your case at a certain angle but you've got all your card uh, slots there but it's also got the usb type c and a standard usb uh, 3.1 gem 1 um, socket on there as well or type a and then type c depending on how you want to call it uh, on the top it tells you the model number yet again so that's handy information bottom not much side you've got two you've got three screw holes on that side so depending on how your case lines up you've got three options there same on the other side on the back you've just got two cables on this one you've got your usb 3.1 gen 2 header there which is that one there you've got your standard usb 3 uh, header there as well to plug in. Um, again, there's none of those multicolored cables on there because I haven't got the USB 2 cable on it. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. They look pretty good. It's just a case of plugging them in your board and away you go. Okay, let's just show you where these plug into your motherboard. Obviously, depending on your motherboard, the ports may be a little bit different, or as in, should I say, they're in slightly different places. Uh, but the basics is you've got your USB type C header which looks like that the cable plugs into there it only fits one way and I must be trying it the wrong way so let's push it in and it just clips in like that so that's your USB type C or 3.1 gen 2 then you've got your header for standard USB which is that one there that usually in most cases plugs in towards the bottom of your case in our case or on the bottom of your motherboard so which would be there and then you have your standard usb um, free type header which 
usually on the mud of a board, it's usually near where your 24 pin cable is, or if you're looking inside a case, towards the right hand side, and that just pushes straight down like that. And it's as simple as that. And then obviously that would slot in the front of your case. Okay, so you're probably wondering what we're doing here. This is an Alienware case from 2005, and we're going to be adding the card reader as well as the USB ports to this case, because back then, you didn't have USB 3 ports, or at least not on the front of the machines anyway. And this case is a, what they call a, a original Alienware before Dell bought Alienware out. Dell bought Alienware out in 2006, so this is one of the original type of Alienware machines. Um, so basically it's got a door on the front, you can access it, but this is a special edition model, and as you can see on the side here, it's actually a Star Wars based one. So you've got the Death Star on there, TIE Fighter, Stormtroopers, Boba Fett, Slave One ship, you've got Star Destroyers, Super Star Destroyers, and so forth on there. Yeah, it's not in the best condition, but that's what we're going to be doing is refurbishing it and making it basically up to date. So we're going to make this colossal machine, which is actually nice styling and it's, it's sort of held up in some ways over the years, but it does need a lot of TLC. And on this side here, you've got Darth Vader himself along with the Emperor up here, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so on the front, you've got your door and you'll be able to see where we have actually put, let me zoom the camera in so you can see a little bit better, You can see where we put the USB ports there, so you've got now functionality for brand new USB 3.1 Gen 2 on there as well. Also you've got your card reader, which has also got your USB 3 socket as well, type C, and your card reader there. Well this case never came with any of these features apart from standard USB 2, it came with four at the bottom, which by the looks of them are pretty corroded, I'd be surprised if they actually work anymore. Um, but, saying that, they could do, but I'm going to go down this route of having these newer connections on there rather than using these old ones. But again, this is an old Alienware special edition Star Wars case. And as you can see, it doesn't matter on the age of the machine, as long as you've got these bays in there, you can add these extra ports as well as adding the card reader and so forth. So not only can you add these in new machines, you can also add them in old machines to bring them up to date. But bear in mind, you need to make sure your motherboard inside has got the headers for the USB 3.1 Gen 2 and the USB 3.1 Gen 1. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use them.